It's happening in almost every corner of the Commonwealth, even if you don't see it. And today, lawmakers say they have a way to help stop it. Sarah Wilson joins us now live with more. Sarah. Valerie, dozens of lawmakers and advocates were at the Capitol today discussing human trafficking. They know it's a crime that will likely never go away entirely, but they say there are ways to help stop it. It's one of the largest and fastest growing criminal industries in the world, and it's happening right now. Not only is it happening today, but it is incredibly prevalent in our state and here in our local communities. Human trafficking, Pennsylvania is no stranger to it. We are a pass through to millions and millions of people. We have roads that travel everywhere up and down the East Coast. And Pennsylvania, unfortunately, is a hub. Just last month in Cumberland County, 15 men were arrested as part of a human trafficking sting operation targeting hotels and massage parlors. Many of the women, of course, were um, very shaken in that process. Jordan Pine is with Greenlight Operation, which works to end human trafficking. She assisted with that sting operation. Each instance where this takes place, it's, it's horrifying. That's why she's supporting House Bill 1241 and asking others to do the same. The legislation would regulate massage businesses and in turn, lawmakers say, prevent human trafficking. It provides some better protections to the victims of human trafficking. It also requires massage parlors to be licensed and registered and allows law enforcement the right to inspect the facility at any time. We know we can do better to protect victims and we need to arm them with the tools to take down their traffickers. That starts with this. If you see something, say something. Every person has the possibility of making a difference. And if you do see something, of course, call the police. Advocates also say sometimes just asking someone the simple question of, are you okay, can make all the difference. Alicia. Great info, Sarah.